What's up guys, I'm Eric Wilkins and here are the five things I did to sell nearly $18 million my first year in real estate. Let's get it. So the first thing I did was created my brand to be the literal non-realtor. I called myself not your typical realtor. That was kind of the first thing I did was basically just sharing that I'm not your typical realtor. I will do things very different. Realtors have a stigma of taking people's hard earned equity in their homes and just taking it by simply uploading some pictures to a website and saying, hey, this house is for sale. Someone comes and looks at it, they buy it and boom, there's 30, 40, 50, 60 grand just gone from that person and you didn't really do anything. And that is the opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to create so much value for my clients that I was not like a typical realtor and they would be so happy to write me that check at the end of the day. The second thing I did was I treated this like a true business and like any business, there's going to be some money that you have to spend to make things work. And so I spent money at the beginning and I did it knowing that it was going to pay off. Yes, it sounded risky. Yes, it was things that I was scared of. Yes, it was a big commitment. One of the first things I did was I did billboards and I actually own a digital marketing agency, but I did billboards because in the town that we have, there's one road that basically goes in and out of the town that goes to all the other roads. In that road, I put five billboards, five billboards. And on those billboards, I wrote, not your typical realtor. I had my slogan, my phrase, the thing that I was going for, the thing that I was trying to share with people that made me different. And simply putting that up there made people know that I was a different realtor. There's something different about that guy. Not only did I spend money on billboards, I spent money on my own personal brand of photography. I hired a photographer to take high-end photos of me, not just sitting on a stool with a backdrop, but ones that were unique to me, unique to being different. I have tattoos on my arms. Obviously, I'm not a typical suit and tie type guy, and so I wanted to show my character and my personality through these photos, and so I hired someone who could do that for me. Also made a video. I made a high-end video that really told the story of who I was in a funny way and an entertaining way that people would actually want to watch. My name's Eric Wilkins and I am a licensed realtor. Wait, 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 please don't go. Hey, get out of my house. This isn't your typical realtor video where I tell you about my beautiful wife. Not a typical sit down and I'm in real estate because I like realty. Like that's not gonna get you anywhere, but really telling your story and why you would be the person that someone would use. And mind you, when I started, I didn't have any clients. I had nothing, I had no clientele, no houses to sell. Um, and using these tactics are the things that really helped me get to the place that I did by the end of the year. Number three, I marketed the properties that I did get the honor to sell as if it were my own property that I, and I was the only person that could sell it. And so the way I did that was I did high end videos for every single thing. And sometimes these videos cost a lot of money. Uh, you know, you get a commission, you get a, you sell a $300,000 house, you get a $9,000 commission. 70, 80% of that goes to a broker. Then you got your taxes and you, you know, you're left with four grand and then you're like, okay, but what about the marketing of the house? For me, I'm spending two, three, four thousand dollars on a house to market it every single time because I believe that not only am I marketing that house the best way I can to sell it, I'm also marketing myself every single time I put a listing out there. So when you put out high-end videos, people know that there's something different about you. It looks different than what this other agent, Joe Schmo agent did for their clients. And so for you to be able to put out high-end, high-quality things that people wanna watch every time, it will sell you as a realtor. Not only that, I would go into homes, I would stage them, whether it be with their stuff, with my stuff. I've been known to go to Lowe's and buy some furniture before a photo shoot, literally just to make the moment right for the picture, for the video that we're doing. And so the photography that we did was all high end and it was based around high quality pictures, high quality equipment, but not only that, but the quality of what the picture looked like on the other end, what it was staged like, what, what was around it, what was the surroundings, because we wanted it to look perfect for the potential buyers. And so we would do that. I would do staging of homes, digital staging. If it was a new construction or an empty home, I would do digital staging to where there's fake furniture in the pictures, but it really looks so high end that you can't even tell it's fake. I would do digital sunsets sometimes, or I would pay the extra above and beyond the digital ones. And if the, if the sunset was right, do real sunset pictures. And those can be expensive, but it captures the moment of the home. And those are the moments that sell. Number four, I cared about the details, the details of the home 
itself. So when it comes to cleaning and looking at the home, I looked at it very differently than other agents do and even other homeowners do. So what one of my favorite quotes is by Andy Stanley and it says, time in erodes awareness of. When you've been living in a home for a long time, five, six, seven, eight, ten years, you completely forget about the scuff on the wall. You completely forget about the tile that's a little crooked. You forget about all these things because you just see it every day and the time that you're in the house erodes your awareness of it. So what I do is I go in with a fresh set of eyes and I say, hey, let's clean up this yard. Let's do it like this. I've got a guy. I will handle it for you. You don't have to do any of that. Let's power wash the side of your house. I've got a company that can come power wash this. Let's do the things that are going to make a difference when it may seem like it doesn't, but first impressions are everything. I think we can all agree to that and making a great first impression for potential buyers, but also for future sellers, people being able to see the work that you put in on a home and, and knowing that you're doing it different will result in more real estate business. Number five, and this is a huge one and probably the hardest one to be honest with you is I got connected with builders. Builders are such a huge tool for you as a realtor, but you can also be a huge tool for builders. The way you can do that is provide so much value to these builders that they feel like they need you. They, they want you instead of being a hard I don't know. I don't really want to work with you as a realtor. You're taking my income. I mean, literally builders are building houses for money. So when you take the money because you are listing the house at a percentage of whatever that is, it's going to make it hard for that builder to want to work with you. So you have to provide value above and beyond what your percentage is worth. And so that's what I did. I came in and I said, I will do things like run your personal social media. I will manage your website. I will make videos for your company. I will do all these things for you to highlight you as a builder, as a business, and no other agents are doing that. Just like this. Other agents are trying to sell a house and that's not my goal when I'm working with a builder. I'm trying to make the builder look amazing and when the builder looks amazing, people want to buy the builder's house. And so that was my goal and that was probably the number one thing, but the toughest thing that got me to where I am today. You want me to give them a bonus one? You, a bonus? So there's five, but you want one more? Okay. Bonus time and this is something that takes some work. And it is, I know I said the builder is probably the number one thing. This might be the number one thing. It might be. But I shared every single thing that I did in real estate on the internets. I took social media and I took it serious and I shared with people what I was doing. There's times when I had to go and blow leaves at a house before photography. Put my camera right there, blowing some leaves. Literally just a quick post that says, prepping for a photo shoot. It's just so simple. It's not asking for people's business all the time. I, I don't know that I ever asked for people's business. I don't know that I ever said, I want to sell your house if you're interested in selling. Are you interested in selling your house? I never did that. All I did was I did great work for people and I just put it back out there, the work that I was doing. I showed everybody the videos. I showed behind the scenes. Uh, I showed up my mug on a billboard. I showed the houses that we had listed everywhere that I could, whether that be on Facebook groups, whether that be on Instagram, on reels, on, on whatever, I was just showing my stuff everywhere. And that is what caused people to call me and say, Hey, you're doing the thing. You're not just uploading something to a website and we want you to come do the thing at our house. We don't know what the thing is really, but we know that you're doing it. And so if I have any encouragement for you, it's to do the thing well. And it really just takes consistently, consistently looking at it, consistent approach, a consistent plan of action of how am I going to do this for every house? I'm going to spend a lot of money on every house, but it's going to result in more business, sometimes more business than you can handle. And that is exactly where you want to be. And that's how I hit nearly $18 million in my first calendar year of doing real estate. Hey, if you're getting value out of this, if you got value out of this, please hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, get notified whenever I put out a new video. I try to put out great content every time, not just boring content, but content that you can actually use. If you're a first time realtor, 
first year realtor, you can use everything that I just said in that video. I promise you can. And even if you're a 10 year vet, I work with realtors all the time that is like, how are you doing what you're doing in one year? And this is the process in which I'm doing it. There's tons of other things that I do. I'm going to be sharing here on the channel, but those are the main things that I do that have caused me to be where I am today. I look forward to working with you guys more. Peace.